Hello and welcome to part three of a series of tutorials on using Zotero at RIT. I am your presenter, Roman Kashikar, one of the reference and instruction librarians at RIT. Please note that you can always refer to the RIT Library's info guide on Zotero for support on using this citation management system. At the conclusion of part two of this tutorial series, I briefly mentioned that you can create a bibliography from a collection. This is perhaps the most efficient way to generate a formatted bibliography according to your chosen citation style. You can co-locate all references for your desired bibliography in a collection, then right-click on the collection folder and select Create Bibliography from Collection. Zotero will prompt you to choose a citation style, but recalls the last style you used if there's no need to change it. This time I will choose Save as RTF as my output method. RTF is rich text format, a file format compatible with Microsoft Word and other word processing programs. My formatted bibliography will open in Word and I can save, print, or further edit it from this Word file. For demonstration purposes, I have been using the APA citation style, which is one of about 20 common citation styles automatically included when you install Zotero. However, there are many more styles available for you to add. If I open the Edit menu and choose Preferences, and then Cite, one of the options available to me is Get Additional Styles. Selecting this will open the Zotero Style Repository, a library of over 9,000 citation styles, all free to install for your use with Zotero. You can search for a style by name or sort available styles by discipline. By hovering over a particular style, you can see a preview of the citation style's appearance. You can use Zotero as a writing tool, easily dropping in properly formatted in-text citations and appending properly formatted bibliographies into your written documents. For instance, Zotero integrates with Microsoft Word. When you install the Zotero application on your computer, an add-on for Word is also installed for you. The Zotero Word add-on pulls citation information from your local Zotero data library. The two main items in the Zotero Word add-on allow you to add and edit citations and add and edit bibliographies. In the course of writing, simply click the Add Edit Citation button in the Word add-on when you are at a point where you want to add an in-text citation. You'll be presented with a Zotero search box. which you can use to search your personal library of Zotero items. Once you find the reference you want, Zotero adds an in-text citation according to the, your chosen citation style. If you wish to browse your library of items and collections, use the Classic View option to open a browse window. Once you have added in-text citations, navigate down to the end of your document and click the Add Edit Bibliography button. Zotero will generate a fully formatted bibliography according to your chosen citation style from all the in-text citations added to your document. If you wish to continue writing and add new citations, they will be appended to the bibliography if you click the Refresh button.
There are two more menu options to note in Zotero's Word integration. First is the Document Preferences option. Use this to change the citation style used in your document. Zotero will reformat the citations and bibliography automatically. The final option is Unlink Citations. This will disconnect the Word document from your Zotero library, but will preserve the format of the citations and bibliographies. Use this option only when you have completed writing the entire paper. Zotero is also one of the few automated citation management systems that integrates with Google Docs. Zotero's Google Docs integration installs with the browser connectors for Firefox or Chrome. You may have to authenticate the plugin with your Google account when you first use it. The menu items are the same as those I demonstrated earlier when working with the Word add-on. You can use the Google Docs plugin to add citations and bibliographies to your Google Doc and format them according to your chosen citation style in the same way you can use the Word add-on. This concludes the Write and Cite module of this tutorial series, which is the final module in the series. For much more, I encourage you to visit the RIT Library's info guide on Zotero. Zotero also maintains a support documentation page on their website where you can find answers to almost all your questions on using the various features of Zotero. If you ever encounter a support problem when using Zotero, I recommend searching for a description of your problem on the Zotero forums, as solutions to specific technical problems are often posted here. Thank you for completing this series of tutorials. Enjoy exploring how Zotero can help you collect organize and cite information you find in your online research.